Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, and Jamie Tabor doing Stray Kids' trailer with their new episode of Stray Kids Code, the third part of the mental training camp thing. I don't know what it called, what's it called? Um... Dun, 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 dun. Time out, yeah. Part three. So yeah, I've avoided the trailer, thankfully. I was trying to figure out what to watch with it, but of course we... It, it, it's the album called Five Star. Can't let us chef, I'm a five star Michelin. If they don't reference it, I'm gonna be mad. Because <laughs> there's no way that's not intentional, right? Anyways, let's have a do the video. We start with my baby. Like a hinge in here, it's crazy. Oh, oh, sir. Me. Oh my god. Just attack me. Oh my god. Oh, I am grounded. I am grounded. Oh wait, I don't like this instrumental man. It's in my ears. Look at how much TV is, boys. Walks over to the hunch. <laughs> oh, hello. Dang. Haters. You. Uh. Huh. <laughs> it's cute. I need to know how many takes that took. <laughs> I feel like if you listen and he didn't really get a oh, wow. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. So no three right here. Um they didn't get a it was was no, but Felix. They didn't get a little a little joke, right? And he didn't get like a before he hit the thing. He didn't do anything. And Felix he, was Felix's the candy, and we just got that before the whole I am ground thing. We'll go back because like everyone's getting little jokes, but they didn't really get one. Yeah, like they all got little tidbits. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. I get you. Okay. Let's this in. Why is this so accurate? This kind of reminds me of Miro a bit. I love this is just all candy and sweets. Oh my god. Oh, I love. Oh my god. Oh, I like Bun Chance the best. Oh, that's so beautiful. Whoa. Oh, Bongchan was so cool. Oh, my baby. Ew, why is his in a bathroom? <laughs> he deserves better. <laughs> he just swallowed it. <laughs> is he wrong? Why was his... <laughs> why did everyone else get, like... <laughs> I like it. Did they get to pick theirs? I want to see the behind the scenes. Like, did they pick what they say? I feel like they would. What is... Wait, what did Bong Chan say? Did he say anything? He, I think he said something with the mask on. Whoa. No, just what? Oh, a little bank oh. robber here. He's like, I'm cute. Yo. But you are though. He's not wrong. Okay, I like Mia's the best, I think. Ugh, why? I hate those. Sorry. Oh, I feel like we missed someone. Did we? No, okay. Wow. Well, why he look like Mark from. Uh, he looked like Mark from um, CD there. Ugh. 
the, the freckles on full display. Yes, please. Well, I was like, wow, they really had to come back really quick. But then I realized, well, they didn't actually, their comeback in, was it December? It wasn't really a comeback because they already, I think, majority of the songs were already recorded. So I guess it, I, they didn't like promote the album that much, really. So it's, I guess it's, it's been a while, actually. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it because we uh, had such, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> doesn't matter um but yeah i think stray kids txt and in hypen have like top tier trailers like movie trailers love it fourth gen kings let's get it this <laughs> the monkey's doing have workouts <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I didn't get the trailer. <laughs> I, I didn't say that, but like, I didn't. I, 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 I guess it's supposed to kind of be like you're just how you introduce yourself versus who you really are. But what does that have to do with five stars? I don't know. But it was cool. I liked it. <laughs> do I ever understand their trailers? No. Wow. Their food is just like 90% meat. Oh, they say raise a glass, but like everyone just kind of has cans. <laughs> Looking like a chef, I'm a five-star Michelin. Okay, okay. Oh, and he looks so cute there. He said, Oh, He eats so weird. <laughs> Why do you go, I mean, it's soup. <laughs> and the caption. I don't know. That was funny. Hasn't waited. Will we'll wait now. That's such a mood when you start eating. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm waiting. Mm. I feel like I'm I'm gaining a crush on Bang Chan recently. Like obviously he's always been attractive and talented and everything, but like you know, like there's like moments where you just kind of like get an actual crush. Why is this one hair? Oh, it's not a hair. I was very confused. Lyric debate. Have he? Oh. How? Wait! 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 How should you? How should you answer to make the other person angrier? Why they word it that way? How would you make the other? How? I guess how would you ask that? Um. Go 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 quickly. Freeze dang, freeze dang, after breakfast dang, after dinner. I don't know, I don't get it. <laughs> this, I might have hurt. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, thank you, Bang Chun. He dumbed it down for me. <laughs> Which one would make me more angry? The first one would make me more angry, so I guess B. I love that Hyunjin didn't understand the words. I just think that would be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, 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 I'm feel it. He just wants to be a guy. He's just trying to go against the grind. Yeah, that's more annoying because it's also more like childish. This was a weird question. I feel like they, they, they chose a weird question. I don't know. Oh my god, Jesus, so much reading. Okay. Which bad boys lyrics are harder to resonate with? X, we have said all there is, let's just say we aren't compatible. Honestly, I do have feelings for another person. That's my sin when you asked me if, I was, if something was wrong. I said, no, I'm the one who said not to worry about why am I more worried now. Is that a bad boy? I think controversial. I don't think it's your fault if you fall in love with someone else if you're in a relationship. I think it's how you go about it. So he said he had so he has feelings for someone else but when asked if something was wrong so clearly maybe he's not feeling the relationship um with his partner so if they're asking if something's wrong he's saying no i think it's not it matters if it's purposeful is he purposely saying no or was he ignoring his own feelings as well you know what i mean i'm the one who said not to worry about why am i more worried now so it sounds like to me this isn't an intentionally bad person mentally cheating this is someone who has fallen in love with someone else. I forgot the whole meaning of the song, so I don't know if later on it reveals he is bad. Um, but it sounds to me like it's someone who's in denial that he's already fallen in love with another person while dating somebody. But it doesn't, it doesn't seem like he's cheated or anything. Like he hasn't, he hasn't pursued it. So at least in this sense, it's like, okay, well, he didn't cheat. It seems like he was in denial himself. And he fell for someone without even realizing it, with, without intention, intentionally trying to fall in love with the person. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's even cheating. So I, this one's not that bad to me, as long as they end the relationship and then pursue the next person yeah. and are honest. Never mind about me anymore. Get out of here, out of my memory. Yeah, throw away everything. So there's no regret. Just cool down your first ring. Yeah, let's erase everything. If I ain't, yeah, it's right. You'll erase it all anyway. This is clearly worse. Chills were wor way worse. Why are you tearing up and pretending you won't? This is toxic. See, this is this person being angry at the other person. And X is more like, he's at least X feels bad for himself. Like, not bad for himself. He feels bad for what has been done. He has guilt. This person is just sad and frustrated and taking it out on the other person. So. <laughs> They're both bad. <laughs> Try and think about the real issues here. But did he? What? I'm completely opposite here. Who wrote? Did you write? Did you write that song? Changmin, is that why? Well, I haven't been in either situations, but I'm like, I I need to see the whole lyrics. Maybe they're also thinking of the context of the whole song, because I I've, I obviously don't know the lyrics by heart.
너를 만나는 중에 딴 사람도 눈에 들어왔던 나일 때? 그랬어요? 아니, 손대문 눈에 들어왔네. 아, 아니죠. 아, 그렇게 하면 안 되죠. 다른 팬들은. 내 눈에 스테이 밖에 없죠. 다른 팬들은. It's never bad to have feelings for another person. It's bad for how you go about those feelings. You can't help if you fall in love with someone else. It just matters how you go about it. <laughs> okay, sure. As if they don't use iPhones. Yeah, B is aggressive and projecting. Yes, Chen, you wrote the song. We read it. Ah, but two of them are so beautiful. Ah, but the bad man is not A. A is like this. 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 Emit feelings and discuss calmly. I don't want an aggressive breakup. No, that is aggressive. Is that not aggressive? It sounds aggressive to me. It sounds aggressive the way it's said. I'm re at least my mind's reading it in an aggressive tone. Yeah, my baby's here. We got this. Yeah, he's projecting and answering on. He's not listening to his partner. Yandri, are you okay? Even if you're crying. Yandri, how do you feel? Let me know, sweetie. Look at my empathetic baby. So he's about to cry, man. If, oh my god, Kenjin looks like he's gonna cry. Is he okay? He's been in this moment. I feel like even when I, I think when I reacted to Chill, I hated the way it was. I hated the lyrics. Like not like they were written beautiful. Like they were great. I, I think I think Chill was the song where I was like, this is toxic. Oh my god. You know what should I feel like? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, sweetie. I wonder what Hyunjin said. Yeah, V doesn't feel guilty. That's what I'm saying. Well, I think B feels guilty, but it's so deep inside him, Rudin. He's letting his own emotions be the driving force of his decision. But he's that. Chengwen is such a guy. <laughs> Chengwen is such a dude here. He's he's taking it so literally without realizing the undertones. It's the way he. The guy in B is, um, what was he saying? Oh, she don't have this. The guy in B is not taking his partner's feelings into consideration at all. He's assuming their opinions. He's like, you're going to do it anyways. You're going to do that anyways. You're going to leave me and, you know, so just shut up and erase me for your mind and act like none of this happened. While A is like, oh, I'm falling in love with someone else. But subconsciously is like pushing it back and is in denial because he is thinking of the relationship and he's like, oh, I like this relationship, but he's not in love with his per this person. Or he could be. He could. That could even be sadder. Maybe he is still in love with this person, but he's falling for someone else, and it's not good. Like that's not ideal. But he's in trying to just ignore it, and that's not good either. But. Oh, because we, we know both of these people aren't good. That's the thing. So it's not like I'm saying A is a good person. China is because you wrote that, didn't you? But he's not doing it. Like, what does it mean, doing it? Like, is, is it implied that the person in A... <laughs> and he's saying... <laughs> Is it implied the person in A did something with this person? 
Because that's not how I feel. What do they mean he did it? He fell in love? Like, that's not of his control. I guess they mean he's staying in this relationship when he's in love with someone else. That is true. Oh wow, I completely disagree. <laughs> That's so toxic. It stays you only to check your relationships. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't cheat. Are we implying he's cheating? No. Oh, my back knee. Thank God he understands. Wait, wait. That's not what he's saying. To ever, if you've ever been in a fight, if someone is telling you to chill, it's not, there's nothing worse. Because not only are you the reason we're not chill right now, you're telling me to chill because of what you're doing, because you're assuming my feelings. Oh. If he's not strong, he's not strong though, that's the point. He's a frail little bitch. <laughs> and he's letting his emotions, he's not controlling his own emotions which lets his emotions take over and because he can't control his own emotions he's trying to control the other person's which is toxic Hyunjin you are toxic <laughs> I'm just kidding but he's Oh yeah, we both, as long as we know both. <laughs> as long as we both know both are bad. Thank you. He's not only controlling the other person's emotions, he's telling them how to feel afterwards and what to do afterwards. I love you, Ayan. But that's even worse. <laughs> But the other person's gonna get hurt anyways. Uh, uh, I love you. A still loves the other person too, apparently. It doesn't matter if you love the other person, because you can love someone as much as you can, but if you're being hurtful to that person, who cares? <laughs> Thank you. I don't agree. Cheating is acting upon your feelings and disregarding your current relationship. Like cheating to me is, and acting upon the feelings doesn't always mean physically. If he is. If the person is purposely, if the person, because you can never make yourself not fall in love, you know what I mean? If he's pursuing the person after knowing he's having any type of interest in them, then that's cheating. But if you just are attracted to someone, for one, that's not cheating, but if you're falling for someone, it's only cheating to me if you're going after them. If you're building that, if you're intentionally causing that relationship to happen, whether it just be, you know, like texting, knowing you already like that person, even a little bit, because you're always probably going to like someone else while you're dating or married. Like, you're telling me someone who's married for like 50 years has never once thought of another person. They probably have, but it's not 
it doesn't matter as long as they're not acting upon it and they still love the person they're with. Okay, Bangkana. Sure. Both are bad though, we know this, that's the question. Yeah, you're going to be scarred. <laughs> Who cares how you react after you say those things? It's how you project it to the other person. <laughs> but the person receiving those words won't see that side. They won't see the vulnerability after. When you're in an abusive relationship, yeah, the abuser might go and like regret it, but it doesn't matter because you're still hurting the person who you did it to. Like, it's like, oh, a murderer cried on the stands. Like, who cares? He still murdered someone. Like, you're 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 causing scars to people. I love you, Ian. <laughs> it's not a devilish thought to fall in love. I feel like ian has been hurt. Like, who did this to my baby? Yeah. Exactly. I want to add to Ayan's point. If you cry like you just did, that means you're still holding in on those memories. So you're also being a hypocrite because you're telling the other person to forget everything while you inside are not. And that doesn't seem manly or cool to me. That just seems like a hypocrite and a very toxic person. But that's probably true though. Who like if you're in a relationship you, let's say they dated for five years. Four of those years were great. He it doesn't mean he didn't love you for those four years. It just means sometimes you fall out of love. And maybe they're both growing. And naturally they're just no longer a good fit. You can be a good fit for four years. And that one year you're not anymore. That's why people get divorced. That's why people fall out of love. It doesn't mean the whole relationship was a waste of time. Or that he didn't love you. And as long as afterwards he tells you, hey... I fell in love with someone else. I didn't like cheat. It just happened. I was trying to still pursue you. I was trying to make this work. But I can't shake these feelings for this other person. Like if you're mature enough, you would, it would still hurt. But as long as there was no cheating and he tells you up front and he lets you know and is communicating, that's what matters. <laughs> I have to remember these are babies still. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they're actually most of them are my age. <laughs> we already know that. <laughs> How are you telling me B is not trash at all? I'm getting concerned about their lack of. <laughs> He ships it. We have a lesbian and <laughs> gay relationship here. I guess we never assume their genders. <laughs> I'm so angry at their answers because to me it just says a lot about them as well, which kind of hurts.
But then again, they wrote the song, so shouldn't be too surprised. I'm just probably never gonna date straight kids. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just watch them from afar. <laughs> His bottom? His booty? That was so... I'm like exhausted now. That was a very intense debate. We love ice cream. And now they're singing the song, so huh? What does that say? Is it better? I love how usually idols sniff someone's head and it's like, ew, but you sing it's just like, oh, love it. Ugh, I just never understand this pool game. My God, he definitely doesn't know how to play. And that's the first time I've ever heard anyone sing this song besides RM from BTS. Look at the couple fits. What flavors are we getting? This song is, is calm down. Excellent.明朝。明朝싫어요?사실먹어본적없어.오?사실明朝안먹어본중에明朝에게눈에들어온게돼.이정도면됐겠지?좋네?이정도면됐지。<笑> 계산하고 가위바위보 지는 사람이 혼자서 다들 이게 다 원래 더 데베이트 어. 아, 그거 그거 좋았다요. 가는 것도 좋은 거 같긴. 네, 원 앤 서트. 아, 7만 4천. I think the took so long they were like let's just move on. Let's just not play this anymore. 우리 <웃음> 혼자 되게 할수 있으니까 가자. 와, 와, 할수 없으니까. 가위바위보. 뭐해, 뭐해? 큐. 뭐해, 뭐해? 큐. That laugh though. Yeah。ゆっくり。あ、ボテバカ切ったよ。あ、おじま。いい。おじま。おじま。はにる小木さん。おんまっぱ買いすぎか。え、どうするんだ。私が写真撮ったやつよ。あ、これ。お、ボル
오른쪽 절반. 그치? 아. 좀더 셌으면 돼. 좀더 셌으면 돼. 됐냐고. 어. 잘하는 데 오. 아. 아이스크림. 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 엄청 많아. 예, 우리 아이언이가 골랐다. 왜 이렇게 많아? 그냥 막 사왔어. 땡큐다. 어? 인사. 그렇지. 야, 오랜만에 그 불러? 뭐. 그럼 불러? 방편 없어, 기우. 뭐야, 저 버림. 아, 건호이. 야, 있냐, 여기? 있냐? 아, 건호이 없네. 아, 건호이 없다. 아. 진짜 없어? 없네. 조금 슬프긴 한데, 나도. 인기 차트에 뭐 있냐? They say we support the core groups here. <laughs> no, really. Okay, we're just gonna keep going with all that. Oh my god, we know. Why is it so attractive? Okay. <laughs> it needs me. That fire looks crazy. Um, I'll be stepping back because it's, it's getting wild over here. Yeah, this, this fire is heavy. Wouldn't that make it bigger? This is quite quiet this episode. It's gone down. Never mind, it's back up. You're pretty. Cause I know what you like, boy. The song's in my head now. <laughs> oh, well, like they're just kind of letting him talk. They're like, we ain't even gonna see that part. I'm okay with that. Oh, they actually stayed the night. We stay on that. I kind of, I love that you just let them. Have a moment alone by the fire for once. This life. Kiyomi, Irona. Kiyomi. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, why does he look so cute? I love the way Hyung Jun sleeps. Is <laughs> Chenjin, not a morning person. We've been new from other shows. He never wants to wake up. 
Oh, jeez. I feel like his song gets cold because he's always wearing like so many layers. Oh, I got that hair. Oh, my God, the hair. Oh, my God. Sweetie. I'm surprised Innie's not awake yet, because I feel like he usually, he gets up, usually. It's so romantic. This looks like such a cute place. There's something so endearing about watching idols wake up. <laughs> I just think it's always my favorite part of episodes, because they all, it, it kind of shows their real, real selves. Aww! Why didn't you sleep with yeah, any? Bunch of was not happening. Oh, no, boy. Oh, so there's another episode. This felt like a finale. Oh, he looks so cuddly. Oh, well, I guess he was one of the first ones to look in. Well, that's easy. We've seen most of these, or all of these, I think. So he has to recreate Innie's photo? Or bring any there and have him reenact the photo? Head hairband. <laughs> hairband. <laughs> These are so iconic. Aren't, aren't these photo cards? Because I had that Jason photo card, I think, in Mino's. Oh, I like his hair like that. Oh, cute. Oh, I like Jungbin's water. <sighs> Oh, cute. I'm so excited. I've seen twice do this and it was really cute. Um, well, that is it for this week. I love this episode. Um, usually, like, the food eating ones are a bit mm, slower, but I think the whole debate was very interesting and I really gauged their personalities from that. Um, but, you know, I guess we're all gonna find different things. We were all- we're, we all have- but they all agree, which is weird to me. <laughs> Besides Inny, like Bang Chan, I feel like Bang Chan was still agreeing with Inny, but he, as a leader, probably felt like, okay, well, I guess I can agree with them. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the fact only I am disagreed and was on the side I was on, I, was, I just, I thought it was interesting. And I'm really surprised at Hyunjin being so adamant on the other guy because I feel like he's such an emotional person and an empathetic person and a realistic person that I thought he would have really been on the side of like I, I, I feel like if I talked to him <laughs> he would see where I come from with that situation because I'm very shocked because I feel like Hyunjin doesn't like uh, people telling him how to feel so to agree with the side of the guy who tells his partner how they feel it kind of just so I wonder if I like explain the other side more, maybe he'll see that point. Because 
Kendrick is just such a person who would never... Like, I just don't see him ever agreeing to something like that. Like, ever siding with that person. So, I don't know. But maybe he just really hates the other person. I don't know. I mean, obviously both are bad. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!